welcome to this uh, press conference after the NATO Russia Council. The Secretary General uh, and Chairman of the NRC will start with a short statement and then we'll be happy to take a couple of questions. Secretary General. Thank you very much. Um, I've just shared a very constructive meeting uh, of the NATO Russia uh, Council held at the invitation of uh, President uh, Medvedev and with the participation of uh, Minister Lavrov and Deputy Defence Minister Antonov. Um, and this shows uh, our continued commitment to uh, cooperation as we agreed uh, in Lisbon uh, last uh, November. The spirit of Lisbon lives on and it continues to uh, guide us. Cooperation is the best choice. Partnership is the only path forward. Today we agreed to continue our cooperation and to consolidate it. All 29 members of this council face the same threats and challenges, so we must combine our political will and our resources to tackle them effectively. Because NATO and Russia have a shared responsibility in strengthening the security and stability of the Euro-Atlantic area. And since the Lisbon summit, our cooperation has gained new momentum. Take terrorism. Just last month, NATO and uh, Russian fighter jets held their first ever uh, joint exercise over Poland and the Black Sea. They joined forces uh, to intercept civilian planes that simulated a terrorist hijack uh, like the 9-11 attacks. And soon uh, in Paris and St. Petersburg, we will test uh, a joint system to detect explosives on suicide bombers in our subways, uh, train stations and airports to stop an attack uh, like the one uh, that struck um, the Domodedovo airport in Moscow earlier this year. Both, both these exercises would have been hard to imagine not so long ago. Both are excellent examples of how much we stand to gain, to gain by working uh, together. We are also jointly investing in efforts to stabilize Afghanistan, supporting the Afghan Air Force and training officers to fight the drugs, um, the drugs trade across the region. Officers trained by NATO and Russian specialists have participated in some of the largest hearing seizure operations in the region. This is an investment today that will strengthen our security tomorrow. Practical defense cooperation provides a firm basis for our partnership and we intend to develop a defense transparency dialogue to make it even stronger. We saw that cooperation in action last month. NATO and Russian naval forces combined to rescue personnel from a submarine. This was a high level event involving the head of the Russian general staff, General Makarov, and the head of NATO's military committee, Admiral Di Paola. And the good news is that they were both rescued. Today, we restated our commitment to pursue missile defense cooperation in the NATO-Russia Council. We heard briefings from both NATO and uh, Russia, which clarified some important points about our plans and capabilities. We did this in the spirit of transparency and reciprocity, in the spirit of frank, open and frequent dialogue, in the spirit of Lisbon. Many key issues still need to be addressed. We never said uh, we would agree on missile defense overnight or even in a few months. This is too important for all of us, but because it is so important, and because we all stand to gain by working together, we are determined to keep up the dialogue 
and to keep up the work. And we are making progress in matching our visions of the missile defense project. We also exchange views on Libya. Um, in Lisbon, we agreed um, that the NATO Russia Council should be a forum for discussions on all issues and at all times. We take this very seriously. NATO regularly briefs Russian representatives uh, on Operation Unified Protector uh, for Libya. Our mandate is clear. Um, United Nations Security Council Resolution 1973, uh, which authorizes all necessary means uh, to prevent threats and attacks against civilians. Everything NATO does, together with our partners, many from the region, is in full compliance uh, with that mandate. So this has been a very constructive meeting, and uh, I look forward to, to the meeting with President uh, Medvedev later today. I'm confident this will provide additional momentum to our joint uh, endeavor. We have come a long way from Lisbon to Sochi, and from Sochi, we can be confident about the way ahead. We have done a lot to translate words into deeds, and we still have a lot to accomplish together. My hope is that we can all meet again in less than a year at the NATO summit in Chicago, and that we will be able to agree on a solution on missile defense that can make the security of NATO territory and of Russian territory more effective. Let's build the path of partnership together from Sochi to Chicago. Sochi has provided a beautiful and inspiring venue for this landmark meeting. So I would like to thank our Russian hosts for their warm hospitality. And now I'd be happy to take your questions.